Tools connect. It's time to stand up. Got some new music. Music. That's good for your ears, man. You don't understand how we're doing this. Hey, yo, promise. Let me know, man. Upstate. All right. Quiet on the set. We almost finished. We got about three, four more left, and we're done. All right. Can you read this? You good? And you make sure. All right. Real good. Make sure this is straight towards his mouth, just like that. Okay. <clears throat> Well, we were putting together a science project for the students and it was on um, earthquakes and volcanoes. And I thought instead of just having them write a report, it would be really ideal for them to act out the report or treat it like a weather segment. And so we put scripts together and then we were taking it um, to the next level by trying to make arrangements over here to, to come over and have the kids record. Well, my script was about this volcano oh. and Asian or Japan or something. Oh. Yeah, it was called Mount Unzin, seventh most deadliest volcano. My script was about um, Clock Tower in Indonesia. It's it killed 37,000 people, and it and it's still active. I think that it gives students a, a chance to look at creative ways to express themselves. And one of the things that we're always exposed to as teachers is what we call differentiated instruction. And, and it gives kids an opportunity to express themselves in lots of different ways. So if they're not great writers, maybe they're great performers. And if that's the opportunity for them, then this kind of work, um, doing the camera work and being in front of the camera and writing scripts is an opportunity for them to try something that they might not necessarily do, but find that they excel in. I think just when you were walking them through all the different parts of the studio, how it was gonna work, what the chroma key meant, um, the, the camera controls, how to use the microphone, and just in general, the whole TV uh, studio production. Um, they see it on TV, but to actually be in it is a whole different experience for them. I, I, was, feel, I was feeling like what would be behind me, and um, I, thought, I thought like the picture would be projected on there, but it's not, it gets put on by a computer, so. so well, I tell <laughs> kids about this place a lot because I, I've worked over here, and um, I think what I think would be the most important thing for them to know is there's a lot of opportunities here at Schenectady High School. If you're into the arts, this is the place to be. And you have plenty of opportunities to sing, dance, perform, get in front of the camera, do post-production, do movies like, uh, like you're working on here with the students. It's all great opportunities, but if they're into the sciences, there's opportunities for that. So this place has a gamut of places that they can all go to. to um, fulfill themselves and get themselves ready for jobs in the future. A Great Disaster in Haiti by Ahmed Ahmad. There was a small island called Haiti, which had a lot of earthquakes. The magnitude of Haiti was about 7.0 magnitude, say the scientists who studies earthquakes. They use instruments that are called seismometers to register earthquake vibrations. Haiti is located near the North American plate according to the official estimate 2, 222,570 people were killed. About 300,000 people were injured during the earthquake. Over 1.3 million were and displaced. 97,294 houses were destroyed. For over 250 years, the tectonic plate was locked creating a high risk of a major seismic activity in the port of Prince. On January 2010, the earthquake was caused by a rupture of the Inquil Plantain Plate. In February 2010, the Prime Minister estimated about 4,000 mates escaped during the earthquake. On January 2010, at 16.53, approximately 25 kilometers from Port of Prince, at a depth 13 kilometers. This includes at least four people killed by a local test moon in Petty Paradise, area near Lagoon. Miss Shakta told the school nurse told me that color was a microorganism that causes disease that get in the water supply. Dynamic destruction by Cortez Hunter. Two cities were lost because of the violent volcano Mount Vesuvius. The Strato volcano is located in western Italy near Napoles on the Eurasian Plate. It's ranked number two on the top deadliest volcano, but not for its death toll, which is, was still pretty high, 25,000 people, but because of its infamy. 
but it destroyed the two cities, Pompeii and its sister city, Herculeum. It was 79 AD. It all started with some kids playing a game similar to soccer. They saw cats and dogs run through the village. The kids that followed the mob of animals mm -hmm. saved their lives, but the ones who kept playing died from either suffocate suffocation from ash or heat from the lava. Both were pretty painful deaths. The volcano finally exploded, boom, sending ash that reached seven square miles high, along with tons of lava and rocks. People were screaming and running for their lives, trying to escape the lava's path, then dying from suffocation. The lava was traveling at least 90 miles per hour, trapping the city and engulfing it in ash. Lots of people did not make it. Many were found petrified in stone. The two Cities Pompeii and Herculeum were completely destroyed with no recovery and total ruins. The Massive Earthquake in 2004 by Emily Schmidt. Earthquakes happen every 30 seconds in the world. Strong earthquakes change the face of land. Otherwise, small earthquakes are very hard to notice. Earthquakes usually erupt in the Earth's crust. Earthquakes affect people's lives. They cause damage to buildings, crops, and water systems. Earthquakes are caused when two plates push together and the ground starts to shake. There was a huge earthquake in Sumatra, December 26, 2004, at exactly 7.58 a.m. Epicenter was felt far away. It lasted just about 10 minutes. There were two tectonic plates which had been stuck together, then they suddenly broke. The upper plate was sliding backward into the west. Sumatra sits between the Eurasian plate and Indo-Australian plate. The earthquake magnitude was 35.5 on the Richter scale. The earthquake had made the earth ring and from the tsunami combined, there had been several aftershocks. There were 84 aftershocks on February 1st. Their magnitudes ranged from 5.0 to 7.0. 13 of the aftershocks had magnitudes of 6.0 or larger. The earthquake and aftershock lasted within three days. 240,000 people who have died, 37,062 people who are missing, and 655,000 people who were left homeless. Tsunami has struck over 12 countries. The earthquake has been the third largest since 1900. You would know if there's an earthquake if the ground was shaken. That's if there was a strong one. So if there's an earthquake, you should go to a high grounder and land. Tangshan by Zhao Wei. In Tangshan, China, the damage from the 1976 earthquake causes 255,000 deaths. There was extensive damage in Tangshan. The area and re really 800,000 people were injured. The Tangshan earthquake caused the great greatest death from death toll from an earthquake in the last four centuries and the second greatest in record history. The Tangshan earthquake was also as the greatest Tangshan earthquake was a natural disaster that occurred on July 28, 1976. The epic center of the earthquake was near China in Hui's the People Re Republic of China in in the Strait City with a pottery and pottery we one million inhabitants. The Year Without Summer by Jasmine Brown. Mount Tambora is the third most deadliest volcano in the world. It was formed by an active subductive zone underneath it. Mount Tambora is a strat stratovolcano or a composite volcano. It is in the Sumbawa Islands in East Sundra Arc. E sea level 60 kilometers. Tambora's 1815 outburst was the largest volcanic eruption recorded in history. In 1815, the volcano forced an incredible ash cloud into the sky. Red hot pumice stones rained down after the grumbling volcano finally blew. It was extremely horrendous. The disastrous 
eruption blocked the sun's rays long enough to make 1816 the year without summer. Nearby, settlements were engulfed in lava. All vegetation on the island was destroyed by the noxious ash and poisoned rain clouds. 70,000 people died of burning, starvation, or poison, but 12,000 of them were killed directly by their eruption. The heavy volcanic ash was observed as far away as Moreno, Sulawesi, Java, and the Maluku Islands. From April to June of 1815, Mount Tambor rocked the world with after effects, completely changing the stratosphere and ultimately causing the word of feminine in U.S. and Europe in 19. This is about warning by Larry Walker. On January 23rd, 1556, a quake of a of 8.0 magnitude struck the unprepared city of Shenix, China. The Eurasian plate released its most massive force, killing 830,000 people. Damage extended as far as Taiwan. All civilian house, houses, temples, offices, and city walls were demolished. 50% of the population was killed. The ground sunk three meters down. It shook so fast the geological features were destroyed. All in the path of the quake was tossed. The epicenter of this quake was completely in the middle of the White River. A massive flood was sent to a poor village. The quake affected 97 places in China. The cause of this disaster was the plate crashing its into its neighboring place. The earthquake off Sichuan, China by Marcus Griffin. The earthquake happened on May 18th, 2008, and the quaking left 69,197 people dead. The injured numbered 374,176, and 18,222 were missing. About 4.8 million people were left homeless. The earthquake the earthquake was a was on a magnitude of 7.9 on the Richter scale. The rupture lasted for two minutes. The tectonic plate that sits on Sichuan sits is called the Eurasian plate. On November 8th, the central government announced it would spend one trillion dollars over the over three years to rebuild the city. Many rescue teams, including the Tai Taipei te, Fire Team of Taiwan, were sent by May 5th. 15, 2008, and they developed 90 helicopters, which include 60 that were provided by the PLA, PLAAF, and 30 were to be provided solely moving from the high Tibetan plateau to the west by the Air Force, Army, and Civil Avia Aviation that would bring the total to 150. The earthquake epicenter was on the Long Longmen Shun Fault. The devastating quake left a long path of destruction along the efforts along the way, but efforts helped the people get back on its feet.